PeopleSoft HCM delivers approvals insights and open search based insights dashboard that offers real time visibility into pending and delayed approval requests. Senior management executives want to know how their organization is doing on approvals. With this enhancement, managers can quickly see on the tile the number of pending approval requests that approvers in their organization need to complete. The Approval Insights dashboard lists the user as a default filter to show visual representations of analytics based on approvals handled only within the user's organization. The page also includes the most common filters to help managers further examine data like requests by approvers or transaction types. Your organization can even create categories to group similar transaction types. Based on the filter settings, the dashboard displays various status counters. Supervisors can view counts of pending requests that roll up to managers within their reporting structure. They can also see pending request counts by approver, showing approvers with the highest number of requests first. While it shows the top 5, you can select the Other Approvers bar to view additional information. This will update the entire dashboard, excluding approval data that preceded it. The middle of the dashboard also includes filters to avoid having to scroll to the top to apply them. Indicate date ranges here using the Day Since Created slider. For open requests, managers can access the approval chain for a transaction to view its progress. They can also send notifications to remind the approvers to complete a request. The dashboard lets managers examine the statuses of requests organized by categories and individual transaction types by hovering over or selecting a status bar item to see a quick view of the number of requests for that status. Managers can review how long it takes on average for approvers to complete the different transaction type requests. The Tag Cloud provides a visual representation of transactions, where the font appears larger the more pending requests there are. Managers can select the text to view only those requests. The dashboard also lets managers analyze request trends over the past year, broken down by transaction type. With this enhancement, managers can quickly identify bottlenecks, prioritize urgent tasks, and take proactive measures to streamline approval processes and optimize workflow. It empowers managers with actionable insights, drives efficiency, and improves overall organizational performance. This completes our demonstration of the Approval Insights for Managers feature. Enterprise Components enhances Page and Field Configurator change tracking to work with Notification Composer. This feature allows you to send a notification when a user changes information on a page. For example, you've set up page and field configurator change tracking to notify a user when the maximum annual salary is changed on the Define Salary Grades page. An HR administrator changes the maximum annual salary for a salary grade on this page. When the HR administrator saves the page, a notification will be sent to compensation administrators notifying them of the change. An in-application notification alert appears in the Notifications Alert column. The notification can also come in the form of an email or a text. Select the link to access the Change Tracking Summary page which displays the changed field, new and previous values, who made the change, and when the change was made. This completes our demonstration of the change tracking notifications in Page and Field Configurator feature. You can now control the type of remote work an employee can request based on the eligibility configurations at the job code and position level. Define if a job code or position is eligible for remote work. When you select Yes, Indicate if employees can request hybrid, fully remote, or either. When an employee enters a remote work request, only those remote worker types that were entered for the job code or position will be available for selection. Note that when remote worker eligibility is configured for both the employee's job code and position, the position will take precedence. 
If you use Override Remote Worker Configuration Eligibility to give access to the Remote Worker tile, the employee can enter any Remote Worker request as it overrides the job code and position selection. An additional enhancement allows administrators to select the Enable Restriction option to define how many days in the past an employee or manager can enter a request. This prevents users from entering a start date prior to the configured days. This completes the Restrict Remote Worker Type by Job Code or Position and Limit Retroactive Requests Feature Description. PeopleSoft 8CM now provides a multi-participant onboarding template that assigns managers steps they need to complete for their employees' onboarding process. The Onboarding Manager Activity tile displays the number of processes that are not started or are in progress. Managers select the tile to access the Onboarding Activities page where they can view a list of onboarding processes where they have assigned tasks. They can select any row to continue or start the process and complete their tasks. The delivered standard multi-participant onboarding template displays two steps for the manager, the Before You Start and Manager Checklist. You can add or modify manager steps as needed. Employees can see manager steps on the summary page but don't have access to them. If manager steps are required, Employees can't complete the onboarding process until these steps are done. This completes the Allow Multiple Participants in Onboarding feature description. PeopleSoft continues to deliver enhancements to Candidate Gateway, easing the recruiting process. Organizations can now collect additional applicant information such as national ID, date of birth, and driving license details during the job offer process. External applicants can provide this information on the Personal Data section of the Job Offer page. Use the Recruiting Installation page to customize the Personal Data sections on the Job Offer page. You can select to enable or disable the display of a section, make the section fields mandatory and include instructional text for the section, and Select the Content Item ID to store the applicant's driving license information. While preparing the job offer, recruiters can select a link to open a modal window and override the personal data configuration in the recruiting installation setup. You can even view the instructional text of the different text catalogs. This completes the Capture Additional Applicant Information During Job Offer Process feature description. PeopleSoft Absence Management enhances the View Requests page, allowing employees and managers to download absence requests to Excel. Use the Download to Excel icon to download all your absence requests. You can also filter the results and then download your absence requests. As a manager, you can download the absence requests for the selected employee. This completes the Absence Request History Download to Excel feature description. In Image 51, PeopleSoft HCM lets you customize where the Add and Delete buttons appear on the Fluid Employee and Manager Self-Service Punch Timesheet. You can place them on the left, right, or both sides, all controlled by a setting in the Time and Labor Installation page. You will spot the Add and Delete buttons on the right side if you select Right on the Time and Labor Settings page. If you select Left, they'll be on the left side. But if you opt for both, you'll find it on either side of the punch timesheet row. This completes the Fluid Timesheet Enhancements feature description. ePerformance added a new template option in the previous image for administrators to configure whether to display step-level instructions on the document page directly or on a pop-up page from the More Actions menu. In this image, the same template option also controls the display of instructional text at the section level, in line, or on a pop-up page. 
This completes the instructional text for documents at the section and step level in ePerformance feature description. PeopleSoft introduces a new feature that allows benefits administrators to identify and notify employees with unsubmitted open enrollments and life events from the Generate Benefits Notifications page. To get started, select the Schedule ID and Benefit program and run the process for either all employees or select employees. The process sends a notification to the selected employees based on the following election statuses. Change resubmit required is for employees who made election changes to their submitted benefits enrollment and did not resubmit their changes. Elections in error identifies employees who made benefit elections that resulted in error. And unsubmitted elections is used for employees who made benefits elections but did not submit their enrollment. Once you run the process, the employees receive a notification. Because this feature uses the Notification Composer framework, each organization can configure their own email text as well as the delivery method of the notification – email, in-app, or text. The Benefits Administrator can also access this page from the Benefits Work Center. This completes the Notify Employees Who Fail to Submit Benefits Enrollment feature description. Payroll for North America updates the tax data section of wage statements to display federal, state, and local tax data from the Update Employee Tax Data table for U.S. employees. These updates are available for PDF paychecks and advices that are generated for payroll wage statement processing in year 2025 or later using BI Publisher. Employees can see the same tax data changes when they view the personal tax information using the Fluid Mobile Paycheck. This completes the U.S. Wage Statement Tax Data Section Update feature description. In Image 51, PeopleSoft HCM delivers the Global Payroll Rapid Calculation feature allowing administrators to swiftly calculate absence and payroll processes and check the results, all from the same page where they are reviewing or updating data for a particular employee, making the process much easier. This feature is accessible for all global payroll components defined in the Rapid Calculation setup. Select Enable Rapid Calculation to turn on this feature for the component you've entered. You can place the Rapid Calculation button anywhere on the page, such as the bottom left, bottom right, or top right. You can also move the button by dragging and dropping it wherever you like. Select the Rapid Calculation button to access the Rapid Calculation model, then choose a calendar group for quick calculations. After you've made your selection, click the Calculate button to get the results. When the calculation is done, the Payee Status page appears and you can view the results. This completes the Rapid Calculation in Global Payroll feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of this Cloud Manager update. For more information and other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.